Can you find him? I'm looking for him too. What? Are they in there? In there? Definitely in there. Are they in there? No. What? Maybe they ain't here. Hey, have you seen them? I'm looking for PS5 exclusive games. Have any one of y'all seen them? No? Yes. Yeah, I ain't seen them. I wonder where they are. What? Marley, have you seen exclusive games that people keep talking about? No, Daddy, I haven't seen them. You haven't seen them either? No. What the fuck? This your boy Brandon. Yeah, that's right. The coolest YouTuber ever. And I'm back with another, another big video. And in this video, yes, as you read that title, we will be discussing where are all these exclusive titles that all these PlayStation fanboys keep talking about that make the PlayStation 5 better than the Xbox Series X. So if you ready, I'm ready. Let's go! Before we even get started with this topic, can you do me a huge favor? Give me a thumbs up, slap that subscribe button, tap that bell, tap all so you're notified every time your boy drop a banging video like this one. So with that being said, we can get started. We can, we can talk about some things because I, I really want to talk to y'all about some stuff because I'm confused. Everybody says PlayStation 5 is better than Xbox Series X because of exclusive titles. Now, I made a video kind of comparing exclusive titles to, you know, Game Pass, which is whatever. You can't really compare the two, but I just wanted to talk about the difference in that video about Game Pass, how great it is, and how exclusive titles really don't matter. But in this video, I just really want to touch on the fact that PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X has pretty much been out almost a year at this point. About a month and now, I think November, right? I think it came out November, right? So about a month and a half, two months away from being a year. And there is no great exclusive titles that's made just for PS5. When I say exclu great exclusive titles, I mean like a Grand Theft Auto, a Halo, or God of War, something that's huge that's just made for PS5. You cannot get it on PS4. You cannot get it on Xbox Series X or any Xbox, put like that. That means that's an exclusive title for that console. And right now, there is no big exclusive titles and it's a year how long are we gonna have to wait to be proven us xbox people be proven wrong that it doesn't matter about exclusive titles plus xbox got so many dope exclusive titles coming up too so there's no longer the playstation you can win the playstation war with exclusive titles you got to bring something else to the table besides saying well exclusive titles is why i buy the playstation and this is why it's better than xbox no you can't say that no more you just, you just cannot no longer say that because Xbox now has stepped their game up. I said it in countless many videos. Xbox has stepped their game up and it's there, if not better than the PlayStation. When it comes to just every single thing, PlayStation is still, to me, lacking right now. In, in this war, you know, between these consoles this time around. Like I said before, the last Xboxes, they was cool, but I don't think the Xbox One, to me, in my personal opinion... I wasn't a fan of it like I was the PS4 or the PS3 versus the Xbox 2 or whatever you want to call it and the PlayStation 1 and, you know, so on and so on. I wasn't really a fan of Xbox like that. I did like the 360. I've said that before. But the PlayStation has always, to me personally, ruled Xbox. And now the Xbox stepped their game up with just everything. And they stole a lot of the exclusive, so-called exclusive titles that Sony had. That most, most of them is Xbox have them. So my thing is, leave me a comment right now. Let me know what exclusive game that is coming out on PS5 this year or in the next three, four months that make PlayStation just out, like landslide, beat down Xbox Series X because I can't think of one. And there's some good games that's coming out. Yeah, some pretty good games. But none of them are Grand Theft Auto type titles. You know, none of them are God of War. None of them are... Halo or none of our, any of those big games like that, that's huge, huge titles that everybody, you have to stand in line to get. It's going to sell out the first day of a video. There is none. 
I can't think of none. That's why I said that. Leave me a comment and let me know what what exclusive titles that's that's out now today. Because it definitely ain't none out today to make make you say I gotta get the PlayStation because of this. Even Miles Morales and Spider Man, dope games, beat them both, got them both, right? Great games. Even the new Spider Man that's coming up, Spider Man Two, it's gonna be dope. Is it enough to say if I'm in a race in a hunt for the PlayStation Five and Xbox Series X? I'm going to say I'm not getting Xbox because of the Spider-Man game. <laughs> no. And like I said, I love them both. Miles Morales and the first Spider-Man, it was dope. But it's not enough for me to say, hey, Xbox suck and PlayStation is killing it because of this game. No. It's not enough. You need something else. Something else to win the war. And people say, you know, why is it a war? It is a war. It's, X it's us Xbox people versus the PlayStation Knights. Or PlayStation Warriors, whatever you want to call them, right? The Sony people, right? I love PlayStation 2. So people label me as just an Xbox lover, but I have both of them. I play them both every single day. But, you know, I probably play the Xbox more just because of Game Pass, mainly. You know, I love Game Pass. So, hey, did I make me a more of an uh, Xbox person over a Sony person? I don't know, because I play Grand Theft Auto Online on PlayStation every single day. I play Call of Duty on there. I play... Um, God of War, I play, uh, I play a lot of those games on PlayStation, NBA 2K22, I play a lot of those games like that on PlayStation, whatever reason, I play Game Pass on Xbox, you know, and I'm not going to turn this to a Game Pass versus exclusive thing, we've done that already, so I'm not doing that today, but of course Game Pass is great, you know, I can go make a million videos about Game Pass and how great it is and how they also need to step their game up too, so Game Pass definitely need to step up too, but this whole debate on place because that's the, only, the reason why I made this video because only thing I hear in my comments or reading my comments is at PlayStation. I have to have a PlayStation because of exclusive titles. PlayStation is so much better than Xbox because of exclusive titles. Exclusive titles, exclusive titles, exclusive titles, right? But then what exclusive? Then they name games that's not even that great. <laughs> they name games that are good games, but they're not A list games that make me have to. Be on like how NBA 2K22 come out, right? And how people, certain NBA people who love that game, they be on for hours trying to get their badges up and their names and all that. I don't really play like that often, but they try to get all this stuff up, so they only for hours, right? Imagine that was just on Xbox. NBA 2K22, just on Xbox, right? People would be going crazy and say Xbox is the best because they got NBA 2K22. But most of those great games, Madden, that, Grand Theft Auto, uh, Call of Duty, most of those great games, guess what? They're on both consoles. You see what I'm saying? They're on both. On both. You can no longer say PlayStation is better because of exclusive titles. Most of the great exclusive titles are on both consoles. So I don't I don't understand that. Period. I just don't. I don't I don't get it. And I d I, I don't know if I'm gonna talk about it in this video or make a separate video, but I definitely want to discuss how it's almost a year and you can't still today walk in no store in America and buy an Xbox Series X or a PlayStation 5. You can buy an Xbox Series S. You can't buy the X. Not in those stores that I've ever been in or none that I know that people be trying to get them. I can call any store right now. Guaranteed they're not going to have a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X. Guaranteed. And like I said, that's another conversation unless y'all want, you know, want me to have that. That's cool. But, you know, have that now in this video or have it later. But, you know, whatever. We're probably going to make it another separate video about that because I really want to dive deep on. It's some BS, man. I think it's the worst console rollout in in video game history is the PS5 and Xbox Series X. Is this? It's got to be because the PlayStation 4, you couldn't, it wasn't this long. I remember going to Best Buy, it was sold out for maybe the first week or maybe even the first month. Don't get me wrong. It was a while ago, but something like that. It wasn't no year. PlayStation 3, 2, 1, Xbox uh, 360, Xbox One, none of them was sold out for a full year. When well, you can't walk into a store and get them. Somewhere in some store, it's crazy. Like I said, that's another conversation. But yeah, this, this whole exclusive titles versus an entire console, because that's pretty much what people say. It's exclusive games on PS5 versus the entire Xbox Series X, right? They say exclusive titles is the reason why they can never jump to Xbox. And I, even when I just liked PlayStation, I never liked Xbox. I st <clears throat> excuse me, I still didn't feel that way. Where exclusive titles made me stick with PlayStation, it was just 
I like the controller on PlayStation. I like the interface on PlayStation. I like the way PlayStation looked. Just those things. And I like the way it ran. So those things made me a PlayStation person, Sony person for years. And if you've seen one of my previous videos, you understand why I became an Xbox person You know, now. I'm not gonna do that in this video. I've said it a million times. So you wanna know why, go back to one of my other videos. But Xbox now has learned from all their mistakes. It's kind of like <clears throat> uh, NBA 2K versus NBA Live. NBA Live just died off because they kept making the same game over and over and over. And it was old. From back in Live 95, Live 96, 97, I used to play all them, I'm old. But back in those live, those ga those days, Live was great. The NBA 2K came around and made it look more realistic, right? So I kind of think with the PlayStation, everything was so crisp and so just perfect. I don't know. This is my opinion when it came to the older PlayStation systems. Is that was great, right? Those consoles was great. And Xbox to me, I know a lot of Xbox people know oh, Xbox 360, Xbox 2, Xbox One. Xbox, all of them was perfect, cool. It just wasn't for me. But now they stepped their game up with smart delivery, um, quick resume, game pass. The interface is now better. Uh, they kept the same controller, but nothing was wrong with the controller before on Xbox One. So I understand why they kept it, made it just improved it. But PlayStation did improve their controller all the way around because that helped the feedback. It's one thing I could say Xbox need to have because that controller let's be honest it kills the microsoft controller it does it does i give you guys that one that point for for sony for making the best controller on either consoles they, they got the best controller you, you can't lie even us xbox people, we can't lie that controller that that haptic feedback and everything the way it works is is great it does have some ghosting issues which i ain't gonna lie pisses me off but you just blow in a little bit pause and clean it a little bit then it's good to go. You know, wiggle it around. You got to clean it a little bit and then it's good to go. I just had to do that because mine was ghosting. I'm playing Grand Theft Auto. I'm driving. It just hit a building. <laughs> I'm like, okay. And, it, and I'm playing Call of Duty shooting the gun shoot this way. So I'm getting shot up. So other than that, you know, I guess you could have that same problem on Xbox. I just never had it with their, you know, controller. But yeah, I really want to know y'all opinions. That's the, the real reason why I made this video is because I really want to know honest opinion because everything, every video I make is my honest opinion. It's not me reading nothing. It's not me going off other YouTubers. It's not me going off of just certain other people's opinions. This is my personal opinion on why I don't feel like exclusive games matter anymore. They just don't matter when it comes to which console is better. Is it the Xbox Series X or PlayStation 5? Really, that whole conversation don't really matter. Because technically they both great. They both do the same thing the exact same way. <laughs> it's like a BMW or a Benz. It's just your choice. Is one better than the other one? N not really. See what I'm saying? Like it's, it comes down to your personal choice, like Adidas or Nike. See what I'm saying? Is Adidas better than Nike? Some people may say, I love Adidas. I never wear Nikes and vice versa, right? Apple and Android, same thing. But us video game people, we love to debate on which one is better just like everything else people debate on you know like android and apple some people can't stand android some people can't stand apple never go my dad one of them he'd never go to apple i don't care what apple makes he'd never go <laughs> ever just because he loves and my brother feel like he won't go back to android he loves apple see what i'm saying me i'm one of the type of people that i have to have both PlayStation, I have to have it. Xbox, I have to have it. Android, I have to have it. Apple, I have to have it. Adidas, I have to have it. Nike, I have to have it. See what I'm saying? I just like to have the best of both worlds. Everybody can afford that. I get it. Everybody is not like that. But me, I like both. But people label me as an Xbox person because I was one of the first people, you can look this up, one of the first people on YouTube saying the Xbox was better than PlayStation 5. I'm one of, if not the first, I'm one of them. Definitely top two or three. Everybody else was on that PlayStation wave. And I'm like, mm, not this time. Go back and look. Go back and look almost a year ago now. I had one of the first, not bragging it like that, but I was one of the first people that gave an honest opinion. I wasn't on no bandwagons. I'm never on a bandwagon. Like even when the sports, when everybody was saying the Golden State Warriors is the best team ever, I was rocking with LeBron. And he was just him by himself going up against the Giants. I'm just that type of person. You going left, I'm going right. 
I'm never going with the wave. That's just, that's just me. It's a lot of people like you guys who watch my videos who agree with me. And y'all don't ride the wave. Y'all not riding exclusive titles. Y'all not riding. If you like something, you like it. It's just what it is. My dad always said you like what you like. And that means a lot when it comes to just anything in life. You like what you like. And some people knock you. Like in my other channel, um, in my sneaker channel, if you ain't have a subscribe link in the description, um, <clears throat> a lot of people don't like Jordan mids. Jordan 1 mids. They like Jordan 1 highs. So the sneaker community is crazy. If you wear Jordan 1 mids, oh my God, you got a Jordan 1 mids. That's horrible. Me, guess what? I got 15 pair of Jordan 1 mids. And I got like six pair of Jordan 1 highs. Why? Because I'm different. I don't ride nobody coattail or whatever you want to say. Ride they wave or, or go with the masses. I'm going with what I like. And a lot of people feel the same way. This is why I'm the big, biggest video on this channel is five reasons why I choose the Xbox Series X over the PlayStation 5. It's because so many people agree with me. They agree. that They're like, wow, the Xbox really is dope this time around. It's super dope and it's better than a PlayStation. Even the PlayStation people be like, Xbox dope. I ain't going to buy it, but it's dope because it's true. And, and the reason why it matters, because most people say, I read some common kind of people, it doesn't matter, Xbox plays it, but it, it really kind of does to certain people. It does matter because Xbox, to me, has been here this whole time where PlayStation was king for years, forever probably. A lot of you may not agree, but that's my opinion. I think PlayStation was killing every other Xbox up until today, this year, this console war, this console war, get it? So... If it's even a war, I don't know if it's a war because I love both. I think they both won. You know, they both shed some blood. They both won. Technically, they both lost because you can't get them in the stores. I've been trying to do a giveaway to give one away on this channel. Can't even really get one where I can just give one away because when I get them, people want to give me a ridiculous price. And how can you turn down money? You see what I'm saying? But as soon as they come in and, and I can get them in the stores and people can't really afford them still, you know, I'm going to definitely uh, do a giveaway for you guys. But with that being said, this your boy, Brandon. Yeah, that's right. The coolest YouTuber ever. Now, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for supporting every video I do. If you ain't seen the last video I did when I opened the uh, unboxed the uh, iPad, no, yeah, iPad mini and the uh, iPhone, if, you know, check it out for me. If you just want to support me, appreciate it. Even if you don't like Apple, if you just want to check it out for me, give me a thumbs up on that video. I truly appreciate it. I truly appreciate all you guys, whether you only watch these uh, video game um, videos or you watch all my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you. Whether you give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up, thank you for even stopping my watching because you could be anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me now. <laughs> As always, until the next one, love you guys. Stay safe. Peace.